The battles of Kawanakajima were fought in the Sengoku period of Japan between Takeda Shingen of Kai Province and Yusugi Kenshin of Ekigo Province, in the plain of Kawanakajima, in the north of Shinano Province. The location is in the southern part of the present-day city of Nagano. The five major battles took place in 1553, 1555, 1557, 1561 and 1564. The best known and most severe among them was fought on September 10, 1561. The battles started after Shingen conquered Shinano province, expelling Murakami Yoshigio and Ogasawara Nagatoki, who subsequently turned to Kenshin for help. The First Battle In the First Battle of Kawanakajima, in June 1553, Takeda Shingen penetrated far into the Kawanakajima plain, his vanguard encountering the forces of Yusugi Kenshin at a shrine to Hakaman. They disengaged, and met up again a few kilometers away in the siege of Shioda Castle, where Takeda forces had taken Wada and Takashima, on 8-12 September. There they slaughtered the entire garrison as a warning to the remnants of Murakami forces on 10 September. Yoshikyo Murakami was besieged in Shioda and put up brave resistance there before retreating on 12 September and allowing Takeda forces to seize about 16 Shinano outposts. The Second Battle In 1555, the Second Battle of Kawanakajima, also known as the Battle of Saigawa, began when Takeda Shingen returned to Kawanakajima, advancing up to the Sai River. He made camp on a hill to the south of the river, while Yusugi Kenshin was camped just east of the Zenkoji Temple, which provided him an excellent view of the plain. However, the Kurita clan, allies of the Takeda, held a Sahiyama fortress a few kilometers to the west. They menaced the Yusugi right flank. Kurita Kakuju's defenses were bolstered by 3,000 Takeda warriors. Kenshin launched a number of attacks against the Asahiyama fortress, but all were repulsed. Eventually he moved his army onto the plain, redirecting his attention on Takeda's main force. However, rather than attacking, both armies waited, for months, for the other to make a move. Finally, battle was avoided as both leaders retired to deal with domestic affairs in their home provinces. The Third Battle the third battle took place in 1557 when Takeda Shingen captured a fortress called Katsurayama, overlooking the Zenkoji Temple from the northwest. He then attempted to take Iyama Castle, but withdrew after Yusugi Kenshin led an army out of Zenkoji. The Fourth Battle The Fourth Battle resulted in greater casualties for both sides, as a percentage of total forces, than any other battle in the Sengoku period, and is one of the most tactically interesting battles of the period as well. In September 1561, Yusugi Kenshin left his Kashugayama fortress with 18,000 warriors, determined to destroy Takeda Shingen. To Kenshin's ignorance, the Kaizu castle contained no more than 150 samurai and their followers, and he had taken them completely by surprise. However, the general in command of the castle, Kosaka Danjo Masanobu, through a system of signal fires, informed his lord. In Susu Jigasaki Fortress, 130 kilometers away in Kofu, of Kenshin's move, Shingen left Kofu with 16,000 men, acquiring 4,000 more as he traveled through Shinano province. Approaching Kawanakajima on the west bank of the Chikimagawa, keeping the river between him and Seijo Yama, neither army made a move, knowing that victory would require the essential element of surprise. Shingen was thus allowed into his fortress at Kaizu along with his gunbugyo, Yamamoto Kansuket. At that time, Kansuke formed a strategy that he believed would prove effective against Kenshin. Kosaka Danjo Masanobu left Kaizu with 8,000 men, advancing up Seijo Yama under cover of night, intending to drive Kenshin's army down to the plain where Takeda Shingen would be waiting with another 8,000 men in Kakuyoku, or Crane's Wing. 
formation. However, whether via spies in Kaizu or scouts looking down from Seijo Yama, Kenshin guessed Shingen's intentions and led his own men down to the plain. Kenshin descended from Seijo Yama by its western flanks. Instead of fleeing Kosaka's dawn attack, Yusugi Kenshin's army crept down the mountain, quietly using bits of cloth to deaden the noise of their horses' hooves. With the beginning of dawn, Shingen's men found Kenshin's army ready to charge at them, as opposed to fleeing from the mountain, as expected. Yusugi's forces attacked in waves, in a Kurumagakari formation, in which every unit is replaced by another as it becomes weary or destroyed. Leading the Yusugi vanguard was one of Yusugi's 28 generals, Kakazaki Keija. Kakazaki's unit of mounted samurai clashed into Takeda Nobushige's unit, resulting in the unfortunate loss of Nobushige. While the Kakuyoku formation are held surprisingly well, the Takeda commanders eventually fell, one by one. Seeing that his pincer plan had failed, Yamamoto Kansuke charged alone into the mass of Yusugi samurai, suffering upwards of 80 bullet wounds before retiring to a nearby hill and committing seppuku. Eventually, the Yusugi forces reached the Takeda command post and one of the most famous single combats in Japanese history ensued. Yusugi Kenshin himself burst into the headquarters, attacking Takeda Shingen who, unprepared for such an event, parried with his signaling fan as best as he could, and held Kenshin off long enough for one of his retainers, Hara Osumi no Kami, to spear Kenshin's mount and drive him off. The Takeda main body held firm, despite fierce rotating attacks by the Yusugi. Obasaburo Hai fought back against Kakazaki's samurai. Anayama Nobukumi destroyed Shibata of Ekigo and forced the Yusugi main force back to the Chikumigawa. Meanwhile, Kosaka's stealth force reached the top of Seijo Yama and, finding the Yusugi position deserted, hurried down the mountain to the ford taking the same path they had expected the fleeing Yusugi to take. After desperate fighting, they punched their way through the 3,000 Yusugi warriors defending the ford, and pressed on to aid Takeda's main force. The Kozaka force then attacked the retreating Yusugi from the rear. Takeda Shingen's many great generals, including his younger brother Takeda Nobushigo and great-uncle Murazumi Torisado were killed in the field. In the end, the Yusugi army suffered around 3,000 losses, while the Takeda had about 4,000 casualties. The chronicles seem to indicate that the Takeda made no effort to stop the Yusugi from retreating after the battle, burning the encampment at Seijo Yama, returning to Zenkoji, and then to Ekigo province. The Fifth Battle In 1564, Shingen and Kenshin met for the fifth and final time on the plain of Kawanakajima. Their forces skirmished for 60 days, and then both withdrew. In popular culture, the rivalry between the two warlords was documented in the Japanese movie Heaven and Earth, which features the fourth battle as the film's climax. The fourth battle is also one of the most pivotal moments for many TV dramas centered on Shingen's life, such as Fury and Kazan. It is featured in the climax of the film Samurai Banners. As the fourth battle between Shingen and Kenshin was the most famous among all of them, it is one of the early stages in the Samurai Warriors series because of the one-on-one -on -one fight between Shingen and Kenshin. Shingen's weapon is a dance and uchiwa. In both PC games Shogun, Total War, and its sequel, Total War, Shogun 2, one of the historical battles is the fourth Kawanakajima. In Sanguko Basera anime the first battle ends in a stalemate. The second battle ends both Yusugi and Takeda forces retreating in the face of Haiza Yoshi's forces, and the third battle ends with Takeda victory. Shingen was going to execute Kenshin when Ieyasu arrives to offer their alliance for his dream. The five battles are referenced in Pokemon Conquest, in which Kenshin and Shingen share a similar rivalry and settle it with a bet. The first to take five kingdoms from their opponent is the victor.